So in this example, or this question, we have to use the Taylor series of y, or Taylor series expansion of y to solve this differential equation. And uh, so in this case, we are given that we have a Taylor series expansion of y, or since it is centered at zero, you may recall that you also called it the uh, Maclaurin series, okay? So, which is, we have uh, n goes from 1 to infinity, and then you have, right here, you got the nth derivative of uh, y at uh, 0, divided by the factorial of n times x to the power n and if we just go down to the uh, go down to an expansion this will not be too hard to get we have y at 0 and then we can write down the first term and the term here so we got one here one here and of course one here or nothing here right then plus we'll write only up to the sixth term which is up to the fifth power of uh, x assuming that the coefficients will turn out to be non-zeros if any of them is a zero then we will proceed further okay so i'm just writing this series out all right okay then plus four and we are about there okay right here so 4 and then we got the x to the power 5 term here and in case all these coefficients turn out to be non-zero then we are done here otherwise we will proceed further okay so notice this we already are given that uh, y zero is how much that's a one and also we have that uh, the first derivative of y at zero is also one okay so now if we have to obtain the second derivative of y at zero we'll bring this equation down the given differential equation uh, let's just go ahead and write it in these notations. I'm sorry. That is, uh, instead of y double prime, we will just indicate this here. And the first derivative, we will indicate this here. And, uh, of course, these are functions of x. And then I have a function of x here. So what I will do is that I'll go ahead and substitute x equals uh, 0 here to get the second derivative of y at 0. So we have this and then here we have y0 is square and this guy is a 0. So what we have is y0 is square. Remember y at 0 is 1 so we got 1 is square and then minus 5 times the first derivative is also 1 and uh, what else do I have? And then 0 squared is a 0. So y2 at 0 turns out to be how much? y2 at 0 is negative 4. Okay. So then the next part is we want to get the third derivative, right? So for this third derivative, what we can do here is that uh, that we can just differentiate this equation to get the third derivative okay so this is the third derivative here this will become 2x <coughs> this will become what 2y and then by chain rule of course the first derivative of y right and this will simply become the second derivative at x and uh, let's just write this down here just to stress that these are functions of x so for the third derivative of y at 0 
uh, what we have is that we got zero, then we got a zero here, right? And then uh, this is a one, so we'll just, I'm just going to erase it. Oh, one moment, I should have written zero. Let's take an extra step just for clarity. Okay, so here we go. And then we'll just write the whole thing again. And uh, so when we are writing these values, of course, this will be out of the way. And both these factors are how much? We saw that both these are one. Actually, not we saw, we were given that, right? And the second derivative of y at uh, zero is uh, how much? That's uh, negative four. So this uh, will be how much? This will simply be 20. So now we will get y4 or the fourth derivative. All we are doing is that we are doing the uh, what you may call is like successive differentiation. Okay. So if we want to get the fourth derivative, what we will have is that 2x is going to become x. And uh, then what this will be, we will use the product rule, right? So this will be the first derivative, right? And then plus now we are going to leave this one unaffected here and then uh, we will have this differentiated we are using the product rule in here in the middle of the expression right and here we don't have to use we just have to go straight forward this is the third derivative at x all right now then substituting the zeros Okay, what we will have is zero here, excuse me, zero here, zero here, and zero here, and this is a zero. Now we'll just, you know, plug in the values. So what we have is that uh, we have, this is a two, right? Remember this, this is a, this derivative at zero is one and it's multiplied by the same quantity. So we get a one. Now y at zero is one and y two at zero is negative four. So what this will become is this will simply become negative four. And the third derivative was how much? It's written right here. That's a 22. Okay. Now I'm doing slightly a danger, dangerous thing that is doing too much arithmetic in my head. 2 minus 8 is negative 6 and then uh, minus 110 is negative 116 and this is what this was the fourth derivative at 0. Okay and uh, uh, let me leave the uh, okay, let me not be lazy and do this whole thing. Okay so because we have to get the fifth derivative now. So for the fifth derivative, let's just do this here. First, uh, note that here we got a square of this quantity, right? We just multiplied those guys. Okay, good. So when we go to the fifth derivative, what we will have is fifth derivative, this will be out of the way. And here we will use the chain rule. So what we will get is four times the quantity, right? Times the derivative of the quantity, which is, which is what? Second derivative at x, right? And in here we will have to use the product rule. So first we would do this. Oh, sorry about that. First we will differentiate this. So that's going to be what? The first derivative of y. And then what we are, uh, going to do is this, that, that here, differentiate this, so that will be the third derivative, and this will be what, the fourth derivative, and uh, what do we have here, okay, this came in extra, all right, good, so I hope we have everything, I have to have my plus sign here, Okay, hope this is not going too much out of the recording area. And now what we will have is this, that is uh, 
at zero, zero, and I have been going continuously without pausing on these calculations. So chances of arithmetic mistake or some algebraic mistake are pretty good, or pretty high, but we will see, okay? All right, so when we do that, so hopefully this will be non-zero terms so that we don't have to worry about calculating any further. So this is four times and then again the second derivative at zero is negative four. So that's nice, okay? And then, I mean, we could have added these two together, but that's okay. And here it's two times negative four, negative four plus y at zero is one and y three or third derivative is 22. So this would be two times 22, right? And then minus five times the fourth derivative at zero is negative 116. Uh, let me just try to have this guy do this for us. So this tells us it's an even even 600. All right. So now what we will do is we'll write this solution because we have all our values. And let's hope that it all works out. Okay, so this is a one. And this is a one. And well, let's just get this out of the way. And then y2 at zero was negative four. So here we go. We will have this as negative four and factorial of two is how much? That simply is a two. The third derivative is 22 factorial of three is how much? That's a six. And here I hope I didn't make any mistake, but if we did, we'll deal with it. Or if I did, actually, I'm the only one doing it here. And uh, this is what? Four times three times two. I'm just doing it for the convenience of cancellations. And this is uh, 600 and factorial of five is uh, how much? 120, all right. So let's proceed. So what you have is, or what we have is that we got one plus X and then this would be negative two plus 11 over three. And then I got negative sign. And so this will cancel. So when we cancel two, this would be how much? This would be 58, right? So that will be 58, okay? And, uh, okay, so here I did make a mistake, looks like. So let me check what that should have been. Okay, no, that was not a mistake. That's negative 16. Let's make sure that we don't, because I have the answers in front of me. The, just the answer, not the worked out question. And it shows, our, okay, so that's a 29 over six, but that's not correct. And I mean, the reason I'm saying that I have the answer in front of me is that I can just, uh, uh, write it down like this in this software, which I told you is called Scientific Notebook, that uh, y0 is 1, okay, y prime 0 is 1, okay, let's see what does it show us for the answers, so we want series solution independent variable is x right so it shows us that the series solution is 
Okay, so 11 over 3, we are good that far, right? But here we made a mistake and that was just, you know, my attempt to rush to the thing. So let's just go ahead and try to obtain it. I know it's not really fun. So 2 plus 2 times how much? Oh God, where we get that? Okay, I, we forgot a 2 here, I think, right? So there should have been a 2 here. So that will be 118, right? Which should give us a 118 here. Sorry about that, but I mean, this is, so this would be 610 and this would be how much did we get that as that was that is going to be 118 right okay so if we just go ahead and compare these let's see okay that is how much now it's negative no this is still wrong okay and I am just being stubborn that is just trying to do this you can turn the video off and YouTube is generous it's letting us have it here okay so let's see again where am I messing it up so two times y very good then y and then the second derivative at 0 then the third derivative at 0 right so we have 2 this is the same so that will be 2 this would be 2 this is 1 so that's negative 4 and this is 5 times that is 22 so let's see what this comes out to be that's negative 114 so whatever I did before that was bad okay and so if you do such questions carefully on the test and write it out all very clearly then you can see that since I make mistakes like this I cannot be really too harsh on you your mistakes and of course I, I must be losing points that is your patience so here now we are matching negative uh, 19 over 4 okay and let's see what we get here okay so what is the mantra here 59 over 12 so the thing is this don't just try to do too much arithmetic in your head you know overconfidently just write it carefully out and then hopefully you will get a solution I mean you'll get the correct solution at the end all right so let me know if you have any questions